Hi there, welcome back. This is just a quick video to show you some new foams that I've had specially made for sale on the Filter Pro website. That's them there. <laughs> I call them Mega Foams. That's the old ones, which have a really good deep profile in. And that's the new ones. Look how deep that profile is. Now these new foams are twice as thick as the standard foams. But they don't cost twice as much, which is a good thing. Now you can just imagine those in a shower filter, in a big canister filter that works top to bottom. You've got a ridiculous amount of contact surface area there. It's approximately 50-60% more than ordinary foams. So that's going to trap a heck of a lot more muck before the foams get clogged and need cleaning out. Also, just imagine that in uh, the likes of a traditional canister filter, like an old school style thing from Eheim, the classic range, that work bottom to top and generally are just an empty bucket. Stick these lads in and you've got strong enough foams to support media being put straight on top of them without them being crushed. And also you've got the benefit of that ridiculous surface area to trap the muck as well. So it, you, basically your filters are going to go longer before they need to be cleaned out. Now I've got these on the website in either single coarse, single medium, coarse and medium, or a set of three where you get the coarse, medium and fine. And just in case anybody is concerned about these foams, because generally foams with this sort of profile are specific to acoustic foams which would be treated with a flame retardant for indoor use these are proper aquatic foams not treated with any sort of flame retardant so they will not poison your fish and I've also got them online pre-cut whoops pre-cut into little strips and those strips fit perfectly inside of the FX5, sorry, FX4, 5 and 6 filters. I suppose if you trimmed them down they would possibly fit in the FX2 but I haven't measured one of those ones yet so I don't know. And again they're available in single, medium, single coarse, pack of 4 or a pack of 6 in either medium or coarse. Now the size of these foams is 17 inches by 11 inches by approximately two inches thick and the distance from the peak and the trough is approximately an inch and a half so that is a I mean that's I don't know that's the Himalayas it's already set up in the way that I would have previously recommended and in fact I still do recommend so you've got a coarse pad followed by a medium pad so when the water comes through it gets graded out obviously you've got a flat surface there just as you have with the standard fluval pads so even you, you know you've got a limited amount of surface area but that can be improved with these new foams as I'll just show in a minute then you've got your fine pad on the top and then your media in all the trays uh, and it's probably worth saying that I've now got these coarse and medium pads for use around the outside of here pre-cut and also available on the website. <laughs> you can see the amount of surface area that these lads have got. So the water's going to come through the sides of the trees and it's going to be met with all these lumps and bumps which is going to slow the flow down and settle out the muck really well. That's what you would normally have. See it's quite a difference in surface area. Yeah, there you go that's the foams in now and what you've basically created there is a much greater surface area for muck to settle out on instead of the water just flying around and around and around here as it's been constantly fed in from the tank it's going to settle here you're going to get little backwash zones you're going to get you know all sorts of settlement going on here so that is another option for your fx4 5 and 6 filters <laughs> Mega foams. And actually it's interesting in the FX2 to see that Fluval have actually used not a bumpy foam but like a, a grooved foam 
in that new filter because obviously that improves the surface area. To be honest, these are probably too big for a normal canister filter, but certainly for big canister filters, shower filters, sumps, you know, coarse, medium, then into your fine. It's gonna do a cracking job, it's hardly ever gonna need cleaning out. You know, for bigger situations, these are probably worthy of consideration. And as I say, I've had these specially made, so you're not gonna get things this size anywhere else. <laughs> Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.